measures of central tendency. They are typically used to describe entire data. These, there's something called summary statistics. Okay, they're like summary statistics. They summarize the entire data. Okay, so if you, if, if in a school, there are say 10 classes. Now, how do you find out that one class is better than the other class? One way is to find out the average, average marks of each of these classes. And if on an average, if one class is better than the others, then that class would be the most intelligent class or, or the, or the best class. But, and, and hence what, what are these uh, values telling you? They are summarizing the entire data. So there are three major central tendencies uh, uh, measures. One is mean. Mean is the average value. Then you have median. Median is the middle value of the data. And then mode. Mode is the most occurring value in, in the entire data set. So let's talk about mean. Mean is, say for example, x1 through xn. These are the, these are the different, uh, uh, in, the, these are the different uh, points in a data set. Then arithmetic mean would be the sum of these divided by the total number of these. Say x1 plus x2 plus x3 and so on to xn divided by n. And this is x bar. This is the mean value. But the point is that this is affected by extreme values. So I'll give you an example. Suppose this is a data set of 10 students in a class. They've got marks out of 20 in the statistic exam. These are the marks of, of these people. So it is 5, 4, 23, 4, 5, 10, 2, 3, 1. So in order to find out the average, what will you do? You will just add them up together and divide it by 10. So once you add them up together and divide it by 10, you get 5.7. So this is the mean mark of this class, 5.7. But what is the highest mark? 20. 20 is the highest marks. So if you remove that, what you get is uh, 37 by 9. So that means 4.1. Now, have you seen this? This mean is highly affected by the extreme values. You have, you have one extreme value here, 20. And this is the reason the average has gone up. Otherwise, average was just 4.1. Only one person is getting 20. And because of that, average has gone up from 4.5, 4.1 to 5.7. So this is the problem of mean. Mean is affected by extreme values. Other is, of course, the other way is median. Now, median is not affected by extreme values. Okay, median is the middle value of an ordered array of data. You, you have a raw data. You will either put that in an increasing order or decreasing order. And you'll find the, the value which will divide the entire data set into two parts. Okay. So supposedly if your data is this, 5, 4, 20, 3, 4, 5, 10, 2, 3, 1. So your, your, your task should be to either put this data in increasing or decreasing form, whichever way. So put this in, in an increasing form. So it is 1, 2, 3 has come 2 times, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 10, 20. So where would median lie? Median is, median is that value which will divide the entire data set into two parts. Now, how many, how many data points are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 10 data points. So median should lie somewhere here after the fifth point. Somewhere here in this point. So median would lie somewhere here. Now in this case, when, when n is 10, that is even, median is given by the average of the two middle values. So, so this should be fifth and sixth. Ideally it should be 5.5. Okay. So somewhere here. Uh, so it is fifth and sixth value. So we'll take up the average of these two and you get the value four. So four is the median value here, which is dividing the entire data set into two parts. Huh? Which is dividing the entire data set into two parts. Supposedly, if your data was like this, I have excluded one from this data. This was an earlier data, data only, but you have, you don't have one in this data. So that makes n equals to 9, which means odd. Now this is simple, because there will be four values above the median value, and the four values below the median value. So 
you will arrange the data in increasing or decreasing order. You've arranged this, this data, which is 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 10, 20. So the first four values here and the next four values here and the middle value here. So this is the median value. This is the median value. Okay. This is the median value. What is mode then? Mode is the value which is occurring for the most time in the data set, which occurs the most often. So you have again the same data, the data which we have been using, we have put this. So one is occurring one time, two is occurring one time, three is occurring two times, four is occurring two times, five is occurring two times, 10 and 20, both of them are occurring one, one time. Now, so what is the most often number which has been repeated? Three has been repeated twice, four is repeated twice, and five is repeated twice. Okay, before telling you this, let me say in case if you have just one more value, which is three here. So in this case, in case of the data set would have been like this, then three would have been occurring for three times. So three would have been mode there. In our original data set in which this three was not there, you have three which is occurring two times, four which is occurring two times, and five which is occurring two times. This is the case of multimodal. There are several modes in this data set, not just one. In case if you had, uh, in case if you had this five was also not there, then five was also occurring for one time, say, then three is occurring for two time and four is occurring for two times. So that would have been the case of bimodal. There are two modes in the data set. You're getting the point. So when you have more than more than two modes, you have multimodal. This is that was the case of multimodal. So this is a very, very brief introduction of uh, what are these central tendencies.